Hi, in this video we are going to talk about what are the six things a parent should track or guide students during their IITJ and NEET journey. The journey starts with classes. So you can see that in Pragvi system, the classes are scheduled one week ahead. That would mean that for the next week, you will find the schedule of the classes on Sunday. Now in case as a student or as a parent, you are aware that the student is not going to be available on certain days. It is your duty to inform the operations team regarding that so that the faculties are also informed. In case of one-on-one -on -one classes, if you want to reschedule something, cancel some classes, it is a good time to inform the operations team again so that they are aware what changes are need to be made in the timetable. Now, in case for a scheduled class, if the student is absent, you will get a message regarding that. So you are aware that whether the student is there in the class or not. But if you want to dig a little deep, it is also available on the portal that if the student attended the classes, what was his participation in the class? So what we do is using AI, we analyze the sound patterns of a class and we give you a data that let us say 100% time was the time of the class. How much percentage the student interacted in terms of voice patterns in the class? Second thing that you should do is basically check the feedback of the class. So after every class, now we have started sending parents the feedback of the classes. That would mean what happened in that class. Did the student come prepared with the basic content? Did they come with the revision of the last class? Uh, were there some specific problems regarding the student in the homework front, in the LPP front? So all those things, we give you a feedback in the form of a WhatsApp message. So it is a very good idea that you keep in touch with those WhatsApp messages and if you're not receiving them or in case you have not received for some of the classes, inform the operations team so that suitable measures can be taken according to that. Third thing that you should notice regarding classes is once the class is done, the student is meant to write handwritten class notes. That would mean once the class is done, we will upload the class annotated notes on the portal. What a student is meant to do is he need to download that notes write the theory like it is given in those notes in his or her own handwriting and solve the questions once more so that he is able to absorb the content 100% what was taught in the class along with problem solving techniques. Now the second important thing in this journey is nothing but the practice part. So once you have done the classes, now you are expected to do the homework. So Pragvi provides students three kinds of homeworks. The first is the LPPs. If you go to the portal, wherever the teaching notes are getting uploaded, you will find a lecture practice problem tab there as well. So after the lecture, we are giving students time based practice of 25 questions to be done in an hour. This ensures that whatever problem models that we have discussed in the classes, the student have understood them and practiced them enough. So this is some minimum practice that needs to be done. Along with this, when we are starting a chapter, we will also ask them to solve the reference book of their school. Now this is essential because we do not just want result in JE, we will also want result at the level of school and board exam. And this could be easily ensured when you're doing that chapter, you also make a very good copy with all the illustrations and important questions of your school while we are doing that chapter. So that once the chapter is done, the LPPs as well as the school homework is getting done along with it. Now, once you have done the chapter, we'll usually give student a week's time to do the module. So again, the parents can keep a check that if the chapter was done, what is the progress of the student in terms of module? Because what we have seen is this is where most of the students might not be able to sync things up and they might be running either before or after. What we want is once we have done it and we have given them a deadline of a week to solve that module for discussion, student comes prepared with all the relevant questions from that module. So now along with this, there are some students who are doing especially well. So in that scenarios, we'll also give and refer them some advanced level books. And we also conduct some master classes corresponding to that. So that is something extra and will change from student to student. Sometimes the student is unable to solve the module and would want a simpler practice in place of the module. So we are also willing to provide that. So in case the student is facing such problems, it is a very good idea that you sit with the faculties for five, 10 minutes or give them a con call and discuss some simpler sources that can be solved after doing that chapter.
now we are already done with the practice so the next important point that where most of the students go wrong is nothing but the revision part students are very willing to learn newer and newer things but very less willing to do the old things and what happens in due course of time if you do not do revision you will forget the old things and despite you putting the best effort to learn them to practice them to master them it will get depreciated as the time will pass on so it is very important that you focus on revision now in order to do this we follow two systems in practice one we have enabled and trained students to make short notes there is a separate video made for how to make short notes that is given to the students so that they start making those short notes and these short notes whatever i have made for two chapters three chapters four chapters students should dedicate half an hour in the morning to revise all those short notes of all the topics this is very important of all the topics that we have done till that point of time so whatever you have learned that is not getting leaked out or depreciated with time the second thing we ask them to make is nothing but the problem surveys so let us say that i have done a chapter and in that there were 12 or 13 models of problem if you write those standard problems down and then write the methods to solve those problem so what will happen in the long run you are not going to forget the problem solving technique and this is where most of the students will lose data in the long run so this is what the students need to do now what pragbi does in the course of time is one we have kept some kind of a lag between our master class and our actual class so for example if i have done my trigonometry now after a month or so i will take a master class so it will again get revised because i am going to go on advanced level content in those master classes second what we do is once we have done with class 11 syllabus we will revise the class 11 syllabus once more and once we have done the class 12 we will do that again once more so at pragbi we are taking enough measures to revise the syllabus on our side as well so as parents what we should do is we should keep a check that whether the students are giving that half an hour in the morning for revising these short notes and the problem surveys that they have spent so much of time in making and mastering the next thing a parent can keep eye for is nothing but the test so pragbi conducts one test every second week and for that we give them a time period for 2 to 3 days so that they have enough time period to write that test what we expect from the side of parents is what you can do is while he is writing the test try and invigilate it because it is largely an online test whatever we we moderate it but largely it will always be a good idea that you sit along with the student while writing the test go in a 5 minute discussion that what marks were they able to obtain what were the reasons behind it and how they are going to improve that because at pragbi we are also going to do the same discussion in our mentorship sessions once we meet them once in two weeks for a one on one session so we are doing it at the level of faculties if you can also participate in the discussion you will also be aware that what are the marks how, how are they improving it and what are the measures in place to do better in time managing school with coaching institute is always a difficult task it is not just a difficult task for a student in pragbi it is everywhere because usually school will take up 6 to 7 hours of your productive time in a day sometimes up to 8 to 10 hours and after that coming and attending classes for one or two hours and then finding those 3 to 4 hours to do homework will become very difficult so it is a very good advice for me to the parents that if they want to track then it is very important track what time is going where in a day so we are also doing that in mentorship session if you as an parent also participate in the discussion largely will understand that what kind of flexibility we will want from the side of school if the student needs to do well in their competitive exam sometimes it happens that the student might complain that there are few topics that school is asking in their exam and we have not covered in pragbi and this is totally possible because the order of topic might be different especially in the 5 and 10 student batches in one on one batches we keep a special accommodation to align it with the school syllabus but for batches this might be an issue so in order to rectify this we have added to them to one of the previous batches where all those topics we are taught and recordings are available for their reference but still if you want some help to be done to the student please drop a message to the operations team or try to get in touch with the faculty they will definitely try and help you out sixth area where the parents could contribute a lot and this is nothing but the schedule of a student 
So I think there are three important things that a parent should be very well aware of. One, the student is doing some exercise. So if you exercise for 15 to 30 minutes in the starting of your day, it largely means you are going to be very active throughout the day. Breathing exercises I have found to be especially useful for a student focus and their general happiness throughout the day. Because this is always a journey that puts a lot of pressure on the student. So some kind of breathing exercise would definitely help. So if you can include something of that in the morning and make a schedule around it, it is largely useful. The second thing is nothing but the diet. These days the students are not taking optimum diet. So if you can work out a healthy diet for a student, whatever they can digest also and is for healthy for them also, which largely help to maintain a high energy level throughout the day. And the third is nothing but the sleep. What I have seen is students have this habit of sleeping late at night and then most of the time they are not getting enough sleep. Now whatever we are learning, the processing of that happens at night. So it is very important that they have some schedule of sleeping and most of that should be in the night. So it is fine you are up till 12 but at least sleep by 12 so that you are getting those 6, 7, 8 hours of sleep that is required for you to keep yourself afresh. I hope this video gives you a clarity that what is exactly that as a parent you can do for the student in their journey for this competitive exam. If there is some other question that you want me to answer, I am always available for you. We can always sit, discuss and figure out a solution for any of the problems that you are facing.